New Housing and Development Board HDB flats and commercial facilities will be built near Kambangan MRT Station to provide residents with more amenities and services. The new proposed development in Kambangan Estate will be bounded by Jalan Kambangan and Nankong Tiga and could consist of two 18-storey residential blocks with about 340 units of two-room flexi and four-room flats, said HDB on Friday, February 2. HDB noted that the new built-to-order BTO development can cater to families who wish to live near their parents for mutual care and support, as well as seniors who are right-sizing. There are also plans to develop a five-storey building adjacent to the flats, integrating a new Kompong Kambangan Community Centre CC, a multi-storey car park, supermarket, eating house, outpatient healthcare facility and retail shops. When completed, the development will provide new and existing residents in the vicinity seamless access to a wide range of amenities and services and inject greater vibrancy in the estate, said HDB. In a Facebook post on Friday, Minister for Culture, Community and Youth Edwin Tall, who is one of four MPs for Marine Parade GRC, noted the proposed new development is the first in Kambangan for over 30 years. HDB said the existing Kampong Kambangan CC will be redeveloped and co-located within the integrated development. The new CC will house more sports and recreational facilities, such as a sheltered basketball court, dining options, a multipurpose hall that can accommodate three badminton courts, a function room, activity rooms, a culinary studio, dance studios, a music room, gym, and an open futsal court. The new CC would also have a community plaza on the first story which, together with the sheltered basketball court, is envisioned to be a focal point where residents can gather for different community activities and events, HDB added. The plan is to redevelop the existing Kompong Kambangan CC into a neighbourhood park to provide residents with a green space. As the existing field will be redeveloped as part of the integrated development. The new park, occupying 0.34 hectares, may feature a three-generation playground with two playgrounds for children. Fitness corners with exercise equipment for adults and the elderly and a multi-purpose court. It added that the existing open canal may be covered and converted into a linear park for another three-generation playground to be built. HDB said that the current Kampong Kambangan CC will operate at its existing site until June 30 and then temporarily relocate to Kampong Ubi CC, which is across from Yunos MRT station. On the programs held at Kampong Kambangan CC, Mr. Tong said on Facebook that the plan was to continue those activities at Kampong Ubi CC and nearby residence committees RCs like Lengkong Tiga RC. We will also continue to consult with our residents to refine our plans, he added. There are plans to provide plaza spaces for residents' recreational activities, and these could serve as additional activity areas for events organized by the People's Association said HDB. A planned jogging path, approximately 1.5 times longer than the current one, will link the neighbourhood and linear parks. Also in the works are a dedicated cycling path along Jalan Kambangan and an enhanced Siglet Park connector. Giving cyclists better access to East Coast Park and Bidok Reservoir. As for commercial facilities, HDB noted that a supermarket eating house and shops may be provided in the proposed development. A preschool, residence network centre and a kidney dialysis centre and outpatient healthcare facility may also be introduced as part of the facilities, it said. To improve access to public transport. A sheltered lingway connecting the new development to Kambangan MRT station may be built. The existing bus stop along Jalan Kambangan could also be upgraded to incorporate a bus bay 
where buses can call at the bus stop without obstructing traffic along the road, said HDB. These improvements will enable residents to access public transport nodes more conveniently. HDB said that measures will be put in place to reduce inconveniences stemming from the construction such as installing interim covered linkways from Kambangan MRT Station to Block 110 to 116. It added that traffic wardens will also be placed to manage the incoming and outgoing construction traffic, as well as having holding areas in the worksite to contain the construction vehicles so that they do not spill out onto public roads. High hoardings, integrated with noise barriers, will be installed to reduce construction noise and dust. HDB said, adding that site activities will be avoided in early mornings or late nights with construction noise levels to be monitored.